Hello, I'm going to go over one of TestRigger's new features. It's two-factor authentication using Google's Authenticator. Okay, as you can see here, this is what the new line looks like. Generate PIN with Google Authenticator from stored value. This is where we get our QR code and save as some variable here. Before I can actually run this, I need to set up two-factor authentication on my Gmail account. So first thing we do is let's go over to Gmail and I'm going to manage my Google account, go to security, turn on two-factor authentication and notice two-step verification is now currently off. So let's turn it on. First thing I need to do is say, get started, and then it's gonna ask for my password. Okay, so let's put my password in there. The next thing that it wants to do is send me a text message so that I can get a code to verify that it is me. So, all right, Google just sent me a text message with a code and I'm going to type it in for verification. Awesome, I'm in. Okay, let's turn on two-step verification and then pick how I would like to authenticate after I put in my user ID and password. I'm gonna pick the Authenticator app. You can get it from the Google Play Store or from the App Store if you have iOS. Now I already have it on my iPhone, so I'm just going to set up Authenticator. Here's a QR code that we use with the Authenticator app. So I'm in the Authenticator app, I'm going to add a new account and then scan that in. Boom, I got it. But before I go further, I also wanna save that image to my hard drive because I'm gonna use it later in Test Rigger. So let's go ahead and save this. I've captured it, let's save it to my hard drive. And I'm going to save that as my QR code. All right. So I've saved that to my local hard drive. I also have the Authenticator app on my phone and I have it set up with this. Let's go ahead and enter in the code that my Authenticator app has. In this case, it's zero. 22977. Awesome. My Authenticator app is now set up and my Google account is set up for two-factor authentication. Now we go back to test rigor. In test rigor, I would like this line to work, but before it does, I need a variable that has a QR code in it. So let's get out of this and go over to test data. And in test data, I'm going to add a new variable, a new global variable. I want it to be of type file. The variable name I'm going to use is my QR code. Why not? And then let's go ahead and load a file. This is the same image that I saved later. Uh, earlier. Okay, so let's add the variable. The variable has been added. Here we go, my QR code. Let's go ahead and go back to test cases. And in test cases, I want to bring up the test that I had up there before. 
and make sure that I have the appropriate variable name here. And I do. So basically what this is going to do is go to Google Mail. Then it's going to put in my email, then my password. Then it's going to generate an authenticator pin using Google Authenticator and then log in. So let's go ahead and run this. There we go. It's in the queue. There was no, there were no real modifications, so I didn't do anything before, and that's fine. Sometimes it takes a second. Boom, we're now in progress. After going to the Gmail URL, the first thing it does is it puts in my email address, done that successfully. Then it puts in my password. So far, so good. And the thing we've all been looking for, it generates a pin code to put in for two-factor authentication. We're waiting for Google to come back. And voila, we've logged in successfully. So here we put in the pen. And then, boom, we've logged in. And that's it.